It's time now for the award-winning number one local talk show in Northeast Pennsylvania, The Sam LaSant Show. Now here's your host, Sam LaSant. Well, thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, it's the mayor's report. We're here at uh, the mayor's office in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Uh, mayor Dave Clues, uh, each month we give you a report of what's going on. It's interesting because uh, as we air the show in the um, uh, Schuylkill area, uh, <clears throat> all the different cities uh, are excited about what's happening in Pottsville. It's a great town. Uh, but before we go on to interviewing uh, Dave and getting uh, an update, uh, one, a, a great thanks to uh, the Republican Herald, uh, who are our media partners. Uh, remember, my friends, if you're not subscribing, subscribe. They have uh, a lot of great uh, opportunities available to you, particularly on Sunday with their coupons. And some sponsors that just some of the sponsors that make this show happen. We have Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant. I've always been a strong supporter of what's happening in, in the community. And Carmelo's uh, Roman Delight, uh, 12 Old Dave's, uh, always been there for uh, supporting our, our activities that happen in this area. Uh, so without further ado, uh, David, how are you? Doing well, Sam. Uh, Doing well. Are you keeping this city in, in good shape? I, I, I like to think so. Uh, you know, it, 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 hey, any time a mayor can say the, bal the, the budget has been balanced and there'll be no tax increase for the next year, you know, that, that, that's, a, that's a great way to start. So it's almost been a year since you've been mayor, okay? Now, has anything changed in your expectations when you were running for mayor, when you thought, it is a, you know, are you saying, wow, I didn't expect this, or it's, you know, anything that, you know, changed in your... Well, you know, I, I won't see it. it nothing in, in my mind has changed that much. There, there is that uh, chief of police and I were talking this morning about how uh, there's some days you, you just have to write this stuff down because nobody would believe it. Uh, those are probably things that surprise me the most. Some of the things that come up in, in operation and just day to day in the city that, you know, come under the didn't see that come in column. Uh, but <clears throat> but from a standpoint is, you know, why and how I took mayor over and and the vibe that's happening in Pottsville, uh, I, I think it's getting stronger. Uh, you know, I hear a lot, a lot of compliments. Um, I see new businesses opening. I hear from younger generations that, uh, you know, have seemed to rediscover my hometown. So... Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I find interesting is that, you know, like uh, running a TV station and running any kind of business, sometimes when you're in the business 24-7, you have to make decisions and you see things from all, all uh, directions. Uh, being a mayor, sometimes you have to make decisions and people don't know why these decisions are made because they're not internally and see all of the facets involved. You know, say, why did you do this, Mayor Clues? Why did you do that? And you shouldn't have done it. Like, in our, if we take a program off, well, there's reasons for that. Do you find that, you know, that you wish you could just explain everything to someone and say, let me tell you why. Then they say, oh, now I know why you made that, that move. Has that ever happened? Oh, that's, that happens quite often. You know, uh, people have one idea of what happens when you're sitting in the mayor's seat. And then there's what really happens when you're yeah. sitting in the mayor's seat. Yeah. Uh, probably, probably one of the biggest things is uh, is time. You know, they'll, they'll they'll say, "Boy, it took this much time to get this done." And you know, unlike when you're running a business where you know you can make a decision that day and make it happen, yeah. when when you're in city government, that's not how it plays out at all. Uh, I mean, some days there are things. You know, when there's an emergency, we can address those things pretty quickly. But some of the day-to-day -day operations, you know, just uh, city cleanup, uh, you know, people, you know, worrying about you, their street conditions. As much as we, you know, want to address those right away, there's, you know, that doesn't always happen. And, uh, you know, when you're, when you've got funding tied up in grants and different, you know, money coming from different directions, that also is part of, you know, why some things take longer. And in government, that's how it works. In a private business, you know, you look at your bank account and say, I can make that happen right now, or, you know, I got to wait a little bit to make it happen, but it's usually more immediate than can possibly happen in city government. 
What we've seen here in the last year, and I love Pottsville. I love this area. I've been here since 1999, as you very well know. You're right. one of the first people on board, um, you know, supporting what we were doing down here. Uh, I find the uh, the fact that you there's cooperation, you know. Yes, you have your politics, and the politics is a place where it should be there, and then let's not bring it into all others. And, and I think you've been able to accomplish that to a degree. I mean, I'm not at your council meetings, and I don't know all the, you know, you have moments of agreeing to disagree, but I think it's so important for the community to know that you have a, a council and a mayor that's working together for a, a good objective betterment for the people, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. You know, it. it uh, you, I, I always, the po political side of things make things challenging. But I've been fortunate here with, with the council I work with and, and Tom Palomar, who you'll be interviewing shortly. Uh, we, all, we all tend to end up working for the same goal. Yes. We yeah. may not always take quite the same path, but ultimately, you know, we know we have citizens we need to keep happy. They're our customers. So, you know, being in retail all my life, you know, taking that approach. Uh, you know, my my fellow councilmen also know that you know we got it. We got to take care of our people. When I look at the businesses and I'm seeing the excitement here, is and I tell people all the time, my friends, stay away from negative people. You don't need negative people in your lives. You know, you you, you just stay away from them. And you, you want to be around people who are positive. Yes, you may have to say something that you don't want to hear, and you address that. But I, I can't, I can't handle. Uh, people who are constantly, if you say the sun's out, yeah, but tomorrow it's going to rain, you know, but if you say, I feel, yeah, but you're going to get sick next. What I'm getting to is that what you've created here is an atmosphere where businesses and people are excited about what's happening in the town. Sure, you have a couple bumps in the road, but you know, you, you've created that positiveness. Don't you think so? Oh, I, I, I wholly believe that. That's why I, you know, why I ran for mayor that, you know, this is my hometown. I'm very positive about you know what's happening here, where we were, where we've come from, where we're going, uh, and, and I think when when you can share that spirit with others, that it's infectious. You're right. I you know I don't like being around the person who says, well, you know, you you could have done this or, or you know, we don't have this business. And my response or come is, up no, with a solution we sometimes. Well, yeah, I, I yeah. I'm always the first to say, well, listen, you know, I, I have an open chair here. You're welcome to sit down and join yes. me and make it happen. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, there there is that, and that's what's really great. You know, my my timing is becoming mayor. It's kind of like the wave had started. And I just happened to be the, the fortunate person to be elected as mayor at the time where the waves are cresting and, and we're watching all these, you know, young entrepreneurs, I'll say, you know, young surfers riding that wave and, and realizing that, hey, we've got some special things happening here. We, we've got a, a great tourist attraction in Yingling Brewery that brings in literally, you know, thousands of people into our city. Uh, I've had the I've had the pleasure of sitting down with people who you know, they hear somebody say you know good evening mayor if I'm you know out in a local restaurant and they'll say you're the local mayor and I say yes I am <laughs> believe it or not you know, the ponytail's a clever disguise, but but they, it's coming they, off I'm telling you it's coming <laughs> off <laughs> when when the funds are high enough yeah yeah but anyhow, yeah, yeah. you know they they tell me that they've come here and and they admire our architecture downtown all the things that I've known I've grown up here. But when you hear it from somebody, I just had, I was speaking to a customer this past weekend from up in Stroudsburg. Randomly picked a bed and breakfast here, came down, wanted to tour to America's oldest brewery, and we're out for dinner. And you know, spoke so positively about my you know about my town, right. and it was such a nice feeling. It's good to so hear. It's, it's, good, it's to good to hear. It and also. you know what? That that becomes contagious. When exactly. you're around, when you're around people, and you're doing positive things, and yes, you have to present some, you know, negative things to a degree. But when you're around people who are positive, it becomes contagious, and that's what I see the city is doing. That's why I love the city so much, folks. I'm talking to uh, Mayor Dave Clues. It's a mayor's report. Uh, every month we uh, come down here, and uh, the mayor uh, fills us in. We come back. Uh, we're going to talk to Tom Palomar, who I've known for a zillion years, who is a city administrator. A lot of great things happening. Uh, and that's why we are this show in the, in the Hazleton market as well, because when you hear what's happening and, and possibly you may want to come down, we'll be back right after this.
Welcome back to the Sam Sancho, folks. The Mayor's Report. We're here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, Mayor Dave Clue's office, uh, and we try to give you an update what's happening. And before we do that, once again, uh, special thanks. We're really excited as we continue our media partnership with the Republican mm -hmm. Herald. Uh, remember, if you're not subscribing, I would subscribe. You make money with the cucum uh, coupons on Sunday. And some of our sponsors who are always here supporting us, like Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant, been on for us for many years, Carmelo's Roman Delight, and 12 Old Dave, and all the other sponsors you see there. Remember, SSPTV.com, all of our uh, shows are there. And once again, thank you for making us uh, Sam Lasan Show, the number one talk show in Northeast in Pennsylvania. Scientific poll done by Susquehanna Polling and Research, uh, now vo voted as the best pollster in the state of Pennsylvania. Now, Tom Palomar is our guest city administrator. Uh, Tom, how far do we go back? Long time, huh? A, a long time. I mean, time. you're a lot older than me. I understand. Absolutely. I, I At least 20 I, years. Yeah, I was here with 16. So I always go back to but 1999 when we first come down. When did we, we start with Lasting Legacy, et cetera? We started with Lasting Legacy in about 2006. Uh, yeah. Lasting Legacy was created as one of our bicentennial initiatives yeah. because we wanted there to be things that lasted beyond the actual celebration so that the community could enjoy things far beyond the years that we actually had the parties and parades. Okay. City administrator. Okay. Yes. Now, for those of you who don't know what city administrator is, he's going to tell you. What is a city administrator? Well, I, I work with all of our department heads uh, to work on the day-to-day -day things that the city's working on. I work directly with our mayor and our elected officials to, to determine what initiatives that they have planned and what they would like us to pursue, and then work with the department heads to make all that become a reality, and, and to try to do all of that within our budget so that we are working smart and not hard and efficient as possible so that you know we can save the taxpayers money and do all those fun things. So it's a, it's actually a great job. It's the, the best job you could ever want. Well, first of all, you have my condolences working with Dave Clues, okay? Uh, so, not so I, bad. I, that's, that's <laughs> you know, my friends, I, I was here a number of times in his office, and, uh, you know, he has, he has a, a meeting going here, and then he has a phone call going here, and then he has another call going here. And it's, you know, uh, I mean, I do that, and I, I thought I was the only nut going, but not that you're a nut, but the point is to be able to keep everything in order, and then you know, make your report to the mayor and whoever you have. That's a, that's a that's a talent. Believe me, I think you do a great job. With well, I, I appreciate that. But it's we all work together here. There's nothing that we've ever achieved that's a single person doing it. We all work together, and we're all in this boat, rowing in the same direction. And as long as we keep doing that, I think we're all going to see some good success. And Tom, that's why I, I love the uh, Pottsville so much because I've seen throughout the years with Mayor Riley and you know, uh, you know, John and I were very close, and and he was very cooperative, but. Everyone, you know, worked together. There was no animosity. It was, it was, it was always working. It's all right. You have your political things, but the point is that, and you can see how it follows through in the city, right? Um, I mean, that's what I see, and that's why I enjoy coming here. Um, now, there are some things happening in this town. Let's talk about some of the great things that are happening. Sure. Um, you know, we we're in the middle of a big, you know. I'd say re renaissance or revitalization. So all of those things, and you guys have talked about that several times here. Uh, we also have some seasonal things that we're working on right now. And since it is the Christmas season and a time of great celebration, we have, uh, we're doing some things as well up at our, uh, one of our signature parks is uh, Yingling Bicentennial Park, which is at 11th and Mahantungo Street. It's an oh, yeah. entire city block. Uh, we built that as part of our bicentennial, so it's a beautiful, a beautiful facility, sort of a hidden gem we call it. But we're having a winter wonderland there. Uh, in fact, this Sunday, December 18th, is one of our events. But it's open nightly; you could stroll through. Uh, there's some uh, beautiful lights, and uh, it's very picturesque. Take family photographs there, or just spend some quiet time. But on Sunday, we're having uh, a wonderland event. Uh, there's going to be uh, the Crimson Academy will be performing. They'll be dancing. We've got the majestic singers that will be singing. We'll have live reindeer. Santa's going to make an appearance. So there'll be photographs with Santa. Free crafts for the kids. There will be live reindeer and um, and concessions, hot chocolate, cookies, brownies. It's just it's it's just a great fun day where we are trying to build a sense of community. But, um, but also celebrate one of the you know, greatest times of the year. So uh, we're excited about Sunday, but we invite people to come to the park anytime they have a few moments. It's a great, great place to sort of think about the true meaning of Christmas. 
Remember when we did a show many years ago at the Yingling, when it was just starting to develop, yep. and you know it was in its infancy stages, and you know, and you say, well, and then we had some things going on, but nowhere near what it is now. It must be exciting to see how these things grow, like with the, you know, the last Yingling bicentennial and how they grow in the city. Uh, it really, it's, it's it's really heartwarming to see that. Don't you it think? is, and and it's. You know, when you talk about this job, that's been one of the more pleasurable parts of it, of course, is seeing things that went from, I think, when we were up at the park the first time, it was it was just a vacant lot, and to see what it has become and such an asset for the community. And, uh, you know, last year we even had a wedding proposal up there. I mean, if, if you show up, uh, up at uh, Yingling Park for this event, it, it's the closest thing you're going to see to a Hallmark Christmas movie. Yes, yes. Um, it really is. And, uh, and people just, you know, get into that Christmas spirit tenfold by the time they leave. So we also did. Um, uh, we did. Uh, you, you had us go around and talk to the the swimming pool. We had the recreation. You know, and and that has grown to a degree, hasn't it? I mean, looking forward to next year. And absolutely, I wish the warm weather was here we right have, now. We probably have, I would say, the the most diverse and vibrant, you know, recreational system in north northeastern Pennsylvania. You know, we've everything from you know, uh, you know, walking trails, amphitheaters, dog park. Yingling Park, the 600,000 gallon swimming pool and, and 17 playgrounds. So along with that, so there's a lot of fun to be had, but a lot of work too to maintain it and fund it. And, and that's where, you know, working with Lasting Legacy is really, uh, you know, a, a great thing and getting the community involved. We often say, you know, they're your playgrounds, not our playgrounds. So it takes all of us working together to make them as, as best as we can make them. And as fun and safe as, as we can. I asked Dave this question uh, on one of the shows, and I'm bears repeating, for the, as we show this show in different areas other than Pottsville, if someone wants to come in and, you know, you talk about all these great things, how does, where does one go to see where to go, like all these places, the, the, you know, uh, there's all these things. Where do I go here? Where do I, is there a place that they get a... The best place, that, if you want to, you know, explore Pottsville, you can come into City Hall. There's these walking brochures that the, the Visitors yeah. Bureau puts together. And uh, they're a great a tool. You could open that up and, and see some of our, our more interesting spots. Um, the Visitors Bureau is, is in t town as well, but um, you can Explore. go to Jerry's Northeast Museum. He always has brochures out. We have them out here. School um, Explorer has a... Absolutely. So you can go and check it out and, and uh, you know, see what's going on in town and some of the more notable places. The addresses are there, but they're designed so that you can walk through too. So you can park your car one place and just explore a little bit and, and check it out. You know, I think people will have fun if they come. I, I think it's, uh, it's, it's exciting. Now, uh, I mentioned about the sponsorships. Let me tell you, Schuylkill, Schuylkill Explorer has been one of our major sponsors as well. Uh, there is uh, an organization that continuously promotes not only possible, but Schuylkill County. And, and you know, when I'm when I see the commercials that we put together for Schuylkill Explorer, and I see all the different places, I say, wow. You know, we are blessed to have so many places in the area. I mean, just just great. Um, so you're getting along with the mayor? Absolutely. If you yeah, need help, he's my there. neighbor as well. So oh, you know, we see God, each other yeah. outside of work more than we see each other here. Pray for this guy, will you? You got, you got a double whammy yeah. on your hands. No, listen, it was all, it's always nice talking with you, Tom, and you keep up the good work. It's a, it's a challenging job. I've seen you in action, and uh, I admire you. And you got a good mayor. He, he well, really, thanks, he, Sam, and thanks for sharing our, our town with, with the rest of the area. We appreciate it. Yeah, it's our, it's our pleasure. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Sam LaSanne Show, folks. It's the Mayor's Report. We're here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, in the Mayor's Office, Mayor Dave Clues. But before we go into uh, talking, wrapping it up with the Mayor, once again, I want to thank you for making the Sam LaSanne Show the number one talk show in Northeastern Pennsylvania. That comes from the Susquehanna Polling and Research. Incidentally, they were voted the number one polling system um, pollsters in the state of Pennsylvania. And so our poll was scientific, and once again, I really appreciate that, as well as all our local shows, and you can see them all on ssptv.com or our YouTube channel. Special thanks to our media partner, the Republican Herald. If you're not subscribing, subscribe. Uh, the coupons alone, you'll make money with those, okay? And I want to thank Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant. I want to thank Carmelo's uh, Roman Delight and 12-Fold Dave for uh, some of the sponsors that you see uh, who is sponsoring our show. Uh, interesting, uh, I know Tom for a long time, and you know, we 
could go back. It's interesting, all the great things. Now, let's talk about what's happening here. You have some businesses, you have some activities. Tell us all about it. Oh, yeah. Just in the past week, uh, we did ribbon cuttings at three more businesses in Pottsville. Uh, father and son barbershop, great new barbershop downtown, young group of men and women that uh, are pretty excited to be here. Uh, Fulton Music Center, which is a music store selling uh, instruments and wow. doing uh, guitar lessons yeah. and so on. Uh, and then 205 uh, Beauty Studio, which ha happens to be uh, the wife of uh, the Fulton Music Shop owner. So wow. Uh, wow. They, yeah. they redid a building, beautiful new place. Yeah. You know, exciting to have them. We have the Alvernia, you know, College Town uh, Pottsville happening here building their school at an incredibly fast pace. They're going to have uh, students in there mid-January. Uh, so that's very exciting coming to town. Uh, we have a second floor development program going on for market rate apartments. We found that there's a, a need for you know those type of apartments. And uh, recently through some of our uh, local legislative people, they got us $3.1 million. We have an investor who's going to do 60 units market rate in the uh, Wells Fargo building on the corner of Center and Market. Uh, that's really exciting news to you know, have that scale of project happening. And, and actually two other buildings that are being looked at for second floor development for apartments. So you know, that, that's exciting stuff happening here in, in downtown. Uh, and uh, like I said, we, we've balanced our budget and, you know, no tax increase for next year. So, again, uh, more exciting news. We uh, sworn a new police officer today. Uh, always enjoy doing that because, you know, when they come in their you know, first day to be sworn in, they're standing tall and they're new and, you know, lo love the excitement of bringing those on board. Uh, and we have, uh, we, we just did Elf on the Shelf, a little with yeah. the Business Association. Yeah, yeah. Over 30 businesses got involved yeah, this year. That's fun. So, you know, excitement to bring people into downtown shopping. And then, you know, as, as Tom was talking about, Winterfest at Yingling Park uh, happening this coming weekend, carriage rides and all the good stuff, uh, you know, reindeer for the kids and, you know, dancing, uh, dance schools, you know, chorus groups uh, to sing. So, you know, a lot you don't, of exciting You don't, you don't sing, do you? Oh, no, oh, that, that's God. not for me, yeah. Yeah. The uh, Yingling's New Year's Eve, you still have that? Yep, we still do New Year's, New Year's Eve in the square. Dropped a, you know, yeah. well, you can never drop a Yingling bottle. That's yeah. not good. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that, that is what we do here. Yeah. Uh, do you get a, a nice size crowd for that? We do. You know, it's like anything else weather. when you're doing that. Weather, yeah. weather really does affect it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it, it's... Uh, it's nice in the square. It's that you know hometown, uh, small town feeling. Do you do? We have about a minute left. Do you do anything special for Christmas and the holidays, uh, Dave? Well, you family? know, with, with eight grandchildren, that keeps me kind of busy. So uh, between visiting all them, uh, you know, that keeps me going. And then uh, you know, just just being mayor, uh, we we had a the tree lighting and a mayor's Christmas party. Uh, and then I have New Year's Eve to look forward to. My first New Year's Eve as mayor in the square. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know the uh, churches around here do a lot of uh, uh, great things as well. They have a lot of good special services, and we hope that you get the one of the services. Um, so I want to wish you the best Merry Christmas and the Happy Holidays. It's uh, it's nice to have you on every month and explain what's going on with the, to, with the city. I appreciate it, Sam, very much. Thank you to you and all of your team and. Uh, it's always a good time. Yeah. Dave and I go back a long time, my friends, and let me tell you something. The guy is true, and he's legitimate, and he's honest. And that's the reason why we're doing these shows. We wish you the best. We'll see you next time.